when you start a company, how much money did you put in? Off the bat, just keep it there. Keep it super simple, right? So what you want to do, because we talk so much about knowing the numbers, right? We talk so much about understanding what's going on in your business, right? So I would recommend, like, you don't even need an accountant off the bat, but you need a business account just to keep things clean and separate, all right? There's a good metric that I always want to tell any business owner when they're starting out, which is your return on investment, ROI, and you've heard about this. And small business is no different. When you start a company, how much money did you put in, right? Let's say I started and I put in $10,000. I wanna get at least 5,000 of those back within 12 months. That's how I measure the performance of any size business. Either they're a million, 10 million, 20 million. And there's no way for you to effectively track that if everything is commingled. Off the bat, just keep it there. Keep it super simple, right? Get a business credit card. If in the beginning you cannot, you can still get you know, one under your name, right? But then with the business, right? Or get one under your name and just put it only business, right? And then business bank account, right? And that's it, business bank account and put everything business related to that. If you want everything going in and out of it, but I think PayPal is just a little bit harder to track, I think at this point. But if you have a PayPal account and everything's going in and out of it, yeah, I suppose, why not?